Rahman Rahim. Uh, today we will talk about pancreas pathology. Uh, pancreas, as you all know, is an organ that functions as exocrine as well as the endocrine organ. So the exocrine portion is a larger portion that is composed of 80 to 85 percent of pancreas, and it is made of the specialized epithelial cells that are called as the SNR cells. SNR cells secrete digestive enzymes, uh, which are packaged into the granules. So these enzymes are actually in an inactivated form, that, uh, which are called as hemogens. Uh, these enzymes include uh, proelastase, trypsinogen, and prophospholipase A and B. Uh, so since these enzymes are in an inactivated form, these are transported to the second part of the duodenum, uh, where they become activated. So the proelastase becomes elastase, trypsinogen becomes trypsin, and prophospholipase becomes phospholipase A and B. So the next portion is uh, about the endocrine portion, which constitutes almost 50, uh, 50 to 20 percent of the pancreas. Uh, this is uh, majorly composed of the islets of Langerhans. So the islets of Langerhans secrete the hormones uh, called as the insulin and glucagon. Insulin is the hormone that decreases the blood sugar level, whereas glucagon is the hormone that increases the blood sugar level. Let's talk about the anatomy of the pancreas. Uh, pancreas is a retroperitoneal organ, which means it is situated behind the peritoneum. This here is the main duct of the pancreas, which drains the body as well as the tail of the pancreas. So this portion here is called as the head of the pancreas, which is drained by the duct of Wirsing. The main pancreatic duct, which divides into two parts, uh, one is the duct of Centaurinae, and the other is the one that joins with the duct of Wirsing. So the duct of Centaurinae drains into the second part of the duodenum here through minor sphincter, which has a very small caliber, as you can see in the picture. Uh, the next is the duct of Wirsing, which drains the head of the pancreas as well as the body and tail of the pancreas through combination with the main pancreatic duct. Uh, it drains into the second part of the duodenum through a of water, which has a large caliber. So it drains a major portion of the pancreas. Uh, you can see here uh, the bile duct as well. It is uh, joined by the bile duct at the junction of the sphincter. The sphincter muscles are called as the sphincter of Ordi. The sphincter of Ordi. There are four uh, congenital anomalies that you are most uh, likely to be asked in the exam. Uh, the first one is the pancreatic division, then annular uh, pancreas, then ectopic pancreas, which means the pancreas is located otherwise of its location. And then there is agenesis, which is complete absence of the pancreas. Uh, let's discuss them one by one. And the first of all is the pancreatic division. Pancreatic division means the failure of fusion of pancreatic duct systems. Uh, this here is the main pancreatic duct. This is the duct of Centaurinae, and this here is the duct of Wirsing. Let me mark that for you. This is the main pancreatic duct. This is the duct of Centaurinae, and this is the duct of Wirsing. As you can see in this area, that there is a failure of conjugation of main pancreatic duct with the duct of Wirsing. So what is happening is that the main pancreatic duct is draining the major portion of the pancreas, that includes the body and the tail, through the minor sphincter which has a very small caliber. So there is an inadequate drainage of the pancreatic enzymes in the body and the tail of the pancreas uh, which leads to the accumulation of enzymes in the body and tail of the pancreas causing a rise in the concentration of the enzymes. Uh, once these enzymes are uh, sufficiently concentrated inside the uh, pancreas, they become self-activatory. Uh, when, when these enzymes become self-activatory, they activate themselves and start damaging the pancreatic tissue. So it is common to see these patients with the chronic pancreatitis. Uh, coming on towards the annular pancreas. Annular pancreas is uh, when pancreas forms a ring around the second part of the duodenum. This is the duodenum and this is the pancreas. So what happens is that it forms a ring around the second part of the duodenum. So this ring can either be too tight in certain cases. What it does is it obstructs the second part of the duodenum. So it is common to see 
duodenal obstruction in these patients. Next is the ectopic pancreas, which is common in almost 2% of the population. And uh, the common places for the ectopic pancreas include stomach and the duodenum. And often the ectopic pancreatic tissue has been found in duodenum. So next is the agenesis. Agenesis means complete absence, which means there is a failure of formation. So this gene, PDX1 gene, is involved in the agenesis of the pancreas. It is important for the development of the pancreas. And this gene here is either absent or mutated. In either case, there is agenesis of the pancreas. If you have any question, do let us know. And we will be happy to answer those questions. Thank you.